Hey what's up guys, welcome back to Aimstone channel, let's just go ahead and dive right in. Let's start with the Bitcoin market. As of the time of recording BTC is trading at around $26,400. Yes, yes, I know, BTC took another dip in the last few days. Unfortunately, from the technical standpoint, many technical analysts would argue that this could be actually a bear market rally and the main reason why they may argue this because we see this head and shoulders formation then BTC broke below the neck line. So yes from the short term standpoint it does not look that good. Even if we zoom out and look at the daily chart we can also notice that BTC just retesting 200 weeks moving average and if Bitcoin breaks below 200 weeks moving average those technical analysts may argue that there is more downside to go. However, I am not in that camp. I believe the bottom already took place back in November 2022 where BTC bottomed around $16,000. And this is not bear market rally but instead we are in accumulation phase. But you may ask, what is the difference? Well, there is a huge difference. Let's not forget that Bitcoin is extremely volatile. It goes up and down every single week, every single month. In fact, it can dip by 50% in just a matter of days. Since Bitcoin has been trading sideways in the last few weeks, it does not mean we cannot make any money. This is the reason why I partnered with Pyrenex GPT. Pyrenex is the leader in the cryptocurrency trading bots since 2019. And Pyrenex GPT takes automatic trading to a whole other level. Similar to ChatGPT, now you can use natural language to create any bots you like without any programming knowledge. For sideways consolidation, we can use grid strategy, where trades being executed automatically in a specific channel. If you think this is still complex, no problem. There is even better solution. It calls GPT Marketplace, where sophisticated traders and programmers allow users to copy their successful strategies. For example, Ichimoku Investor System Strategy is the highest performing bot from the legendary trader tactic Ichimoku series. It generated more than 40% in the past 30 days, more than 160% in the past 90 days and more than 300% in the past 180 days. You can start copying this strategy today and get $1125 bonus with the link in the description box below. Let's just take a look what happened for example in 2012 just prior to 2012 Bitcoin having that took place in November. Back then Bitcoin was wiggling at around $12. And let's just take a look what happened 11 months prior to that Bitcoin having. Look at this, before that Bitcoin having BTC dropped by 50% twice, 50% two times and now BTC did by maybe like 5% of people are freaking out because they believe that was indeed bear market rally. Now let's take a look what happened in 2016. 2016 Bitcoin having took place in July where BTC was wiggling around $650. Let's take a look what happened a few months before Bitcoin having. BTC literally dipped from like $500 all the way to $300. That would be 40% drop. Then once again BTC dipped from like $800 to $500. That would be another 30 to 40% drop. Even after the Bitcoin having, look at this, after the Bitcoin having BTC soon dropped from like around $700 all the way to $450. That would be another like 20% dip. So on my opinion this is just part of volatility. That's what Bitcoin does. Bitcoin goes up and down all the time. It does not mean we are in a bear market rally. Now Let's take a look what happened for example in 2020 Bitcoin having that took place in May 11. Back then BTC was wiggling around $8,500. Now let's take a look what happened a few months before Bitcoin having. Bitcoin literally dipped from $8,000 to $4,000 in just two days. Yes, that was Corona crash. Many people would say that that was anomaly event. Okay, maybe it was, but let's not forget that in July 2019 Bitcoin topped at around $14,000 and then few months after that BTC dipped to $7,000. So that would be another 50% drop. Does that mean that was a bear market rally? 
No, it wasn't. It was just volatility. And now, look, we are at this current price, slightly over $26,000. And we have 11 months to go until the next Bitcoin hang that will take place in April. So, where Bitcoin is going to be by April 2024? Look, once again, Bitcoin is extremely volatile. I believe Bitcoin might end up somewhere between $20,000 and $60,000 by the next Bitcoin having. It does not mean that Bitcoin will gradually appreciate the value until it reaches $60,000. Maybe Bitcoin first will dip to like $20,000, then it will go to like $80,000, and then it will end up at around $40,000 or $30,000. This is what I think may happen. Of course, that volatility may change. Maybe Bitcoin will go up first, then down first, then up again. So yes, nothing has changed for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is extremely volatile. And if you cannot handle volatility, maybe Bitcoin is just not for you. In addition to that, let's zoom out even more and break Bitcoins into cycles. How I like to think about Bitcoin that first we have accumulation phase. This is usually few months before Bitcoin having a few months after Bitcoin having. Then we have bull market followed by the bear market. And then cycle repeats. That's exactly what happens every single cycle. 2012 through 2016, 2016 through 2020, and 2020 through 2024. And right now we are exactly in accumulation phase just like we were back in 2019 and in 2012. So yes guys, more fun will begin after the next Bitcoin hammock that will take place in 2024 in April. So yes, I would be very skeptical for those people who think this is a bear market rally just because BTC dipped by 5%. Okay, let's move on. Look at this. We have a breaking news for Bitcoin. Chinese big television station promotes Bitcoin. Bull run expected soon, as per Binance CZ. Let's take a look what they're talking about. As China pushes its quest for high adoption of yen as a global reserve currency, the Chinese Communist Party has slowly been shifting focusing on Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market. Already, Chinese financial institutions are investing in crypto startups through Hong Kong, which is about to enact crypto-friendly policies. Furthermore, the Chinese government understands that there is a huge demand for crypto products among mainland residents, who have reportedly been using VPNs to access Binance and other offshore exchanges. So, CZ actually stated this. Chinese Central Television just broadcasted crypto. It's a big deal. The Chinese speaking communities are buzzing. Historically, coverage like this led to the bull run. Not saying past predicts the future, not the financial advice. Yes, I think I would agree with CZ. And look at this, China has more than 1.4 billion people in the country. In addition to that, China is the second largest economy by GDP behind United States. Imagine if they would say that Bitcoin is now legal in China. Yes, that is huge deal indeed. Okay, now let's move on back to United States. Republicans White House sees progress in US debt ceiling talks. Is that so? After four hours White House meeting, US House Speaker McCarthy said negotiations have improved and would continue in the evening. He predicted that two sides would reach an agreement, though several issues remain unsolved. We have made some progress working down here, so that's very positive, McCarthy told reporters. I want to make sure we get the right agreement. I can see that we are working towards that. Yes, McCarthy wants to cut spending while Biden does not. He wants to expand spending. The right thing to do is of course to cut spending and eventually stop printing money. But Biden does not understand that. In addition to that, we know that next election is just around the corner next year. And of course, Biden wants to print more money to promise more free things to people so they can vote for his ass. But no, if you want to be responsible, you have to listen what McCarthy says. Let's not forget that total US debt is more than $31 trillion. Bitcoin is only $510 billion in market capitalization. Imagine if US defaults in 7 days, which would be highly unlikely. Then probably at least 5% would flow into Bitcoin right away. 
if 5% of 31 trillion dollars would flow into Bitcoin, BTC would be over $100,000 immediately. Yes, that would be quite nice. But once again, I do not think they will default on the debt. They will come to the agreement and they will start printing more money once again, just like they always do. Okay, let's move on and take a look at some interesting Bitcoin charts. This first chart represents Bitcoin mean hash rate power. And the Bitcoin hash rate power reached more than 360 million terahashes per second. Do you know what that means? It means Bitcoin network becomes more and more secure. And of course, you want to keep your money, you want to store your wealth somewhere in a secure place. And Bitcoin is just that. Another interesting chart. This chart represents Bitcoin accumulation sum of transfer volume. To date, Bitcoin Network has settled more than $108 trillion in transactions. Not bad for the decentralized settlement layer that was created less than 15 years ago. Yes, not bad indeed. Okay, now let's take a look at this quick video where this guy Gary Salvo explains why Bitcoin is in a bear market rally. Ouch. But anyway, let's take a look. Well, we are at a Bitcoin conference, yes. so let's talk Bitcoin. <laughs> and let's talk Bitcoin regarding the debt ceiling, because there's mm -hmm. two scenarios there, right? Um, from a macro perspective, if there is a default, that would probably be a positive signal for Bitcoin. But also, if a resolution is reached, that would mean more money printing, right. which would also be a positive for Bitcoin. How are you reading that on the macro side? And I know you have your technical analysis side as well. So I think a default would be a positive, at least a near-term positive for Bitcoin, right? It would, it would be just like when the banks began to fail and we saw Bitcoin really rocket to the upside. My issue with Bitcoin is that even when we had issues with some of the regionals where they were dropping 50% like two weeks ago, Bitcoin actually came down. And to me, that tells me Bitcoin doesn't know what it is yet. Is it a digital gold? Is it a risk asset? And so for, I'm in the camp that I think I think Bitcoin topped out at 30,500 recently, and I actually think we are going to head lower. I'm still in the camp that uh, that we're probably not making we we haven't made the bottom in, in Bitcoin you, yet. You've previously said that you do see Bitcoin dropping to 12 or 13,000. And if it drops uh, through that support line, then it could go as low as 9,000 yep. in 2023. Yeah, so 2023, maybe into 2024, the 9,000 okay. one. But I do think by year end, it's very possible we could see 12 to 13 or at least double bottom at 15.7. What would take Bitcoin then? That's going to be risk. It's going to be, it's going to be risk um, adjustment, meaning that de-risking in the system. It's, there's Again, Bitcoin is going through this crazy period where people are just gambling on these coins. And I, I've said this before, but I've never on seen other coins. Yeah, on the other coins, but it, it, it's all the psychology of it, right? It's it's when people feel like they can gamble and they can just sell it to someone else higher and they know deep down there's no utility. That is not a sign of a bottom in a market like a, bit, a Bitcoin bull market. It's a sign of a top. And so now if you, you expand that out and say, okay, Bitcoin is still a risk asset. Well, what if the stock market does start to tumble? where does Bitcoin go? And that's my thesis is that we will ha hit a recession. The market doesn't think that the Fed won't come to the rescue. The market and investors are conditioned for now 10, 15 years. Every time there's a hiccup, the Fed prints money. I don't think they do it this time. And that is going to be a shock. It's going to revalue the stock market 20, 30% lower from here. And that will take Bitcoin back down. Well, first things first, Gary Salvi admitted that if U.S. government will default on its debt, Bitcoin will skyrocket. However, he also admitted that if U.S. will not default on its debt and start printing money again, Bitcoin will go up. Anyway, so what the hell are you saying? Where is your bear market rally coming from? Well, the main reason he thinks that this is a bear market rally because some random crypto bros gambling on shit coins. This has always been the case. If this is bull market or bear market, people always have been gambling. If not in a crypto community, then they have gambled in a casino or anywhere. People always have appetite for gambling. And another thing is he said that if we see something similar in the market, usually this is indication that we are closer to the top rather than the bottom. What? Are you freaking kidding me? Does this look like we are at the top? Look, the top was at $69,000, so now you're saying that $26,000 is also the top? What? Are you in your conscience or what? Well, I don't know guys, just do not listen to this 
guy and I think he just delusional, he put too much ego in his calls. Yes, maybe he had one call correct, but everything else that he's saying is just a bunch of BS. Let me know what you guys think, Gary Salloway. Comment below, subscribe and like this video.